Welcome to the Coerenza Approach, a comprehensive, holistic approach to dog ownership and health care. This podcast seeks to educate and inform dog owners on the five principles of the Coerenza Approach and related topics. These principles are exercise, environment, enrichment, nutrition, and responsibility. Let's hear what this week's podcast can teach us. Season 1, Episode 19 Nothing in life is free. Hello, and welcome to our podcast. I'm Dr. Tom, and today we're going to discuss a powerful concept in dog training known as nothing in life is free. This approach can significantly improve your relationship with your dog by establishing clear boundaries and expectations. By implementing this concept, you can create a more harmonious and respectful relationship with your furry friend. Let's dive in and explore what nothing in life is free means and how you can apply it to your dog training. So what's the concept of nothing in life is free? Essentially, this approach means that your dog must earn everything they want by performing a desired behavior first. This can include food, treats, playtime, or even your attention. In dog training, this concept helps establish structure and boundaries. Dogs thrive on routine and knowing what is expected of them. By requiring them to work for rewards, you create a clear and consistent framework that helps them understand their role in the family. For example, before giving your dog their meal, ask them to sit or perform another command. Once they comply, reward them with their food. This not only reinforces good behavior, but also teaches your dog that they must earn their rewards through their positive actions. Requiring desired behaviors for your rewards. Before giving your dog anything they want, ask them to perform a desired behavior. This could be sitting, lying down, giving paw, or any other commands they know. Once they comply, reward them with what they want. This reinforces the idea that good behavior leads to positive outcomes. If your dog is displaying unwanted behavior, such as jumping or barking for attention, ignore them until they calm down. Once they are calm, ask them to perform a desired behavior and then reward them. This teaches your dog that only good behavior gets attention and rewards. So how do I get the most out of this particular technique? Well, consistency is the key when applying this concept. Make sure all family members are on the same page and consistently require desired behaviors before giving rewards. This helps give your dog an understanding of the rules and reduces confusion. Here are some examples of how you can apply nothing in life is free in everyday life. Before going for a walk, ask your dog to sit calmly while you put on their leash. Before playing fetch, ask your dog to perform a command like stay or shake. Before giving treats, ask your dog to perform a trick or obey a command. By consistently applying this concept, you can create a more structured and respectful relationship with your dog. Let's talk about the benefits of applying the nothing in life is free concept to your dog training. Well, first of all, you're going to get improved behavior and obedience. By requiring your dog to earn the rewards, you reinforce good behavior and obedience. This helps reduce unwanted behaviors and encourages your dog to follow commands. This approach also helps build a stronger bond between you and your dog. Your dog learns to respect you, and as the leader and, and sole pack member, that they learn that trust and good behavior will be rewarded. Consistently applying this concept can help reduce common behavioral issues such as jumping, barking, and pulling on the leash. Your dog learns that only good behavior gets rewarded, leading to a more well-behaved pet. 
We've received several success stories from listeners who have applied this concept. For example, one listener from Missouri shared how their dog's jumping behavior significantly improved after implementing nothing on his life for free. Another listener from Florida mentioned that their dog's leash manners have dramatically improved, making walks more enjoyable for both of them. While nothing in life is free is an effective training method, there are some common mistakes that owners make. Let's discuss these and how to overcome them. One of the biggest mistakes is being inconsistent with the rules. Make sure all family members are on the same page and consistently require desired behaviors before giving rewards. It's important not to get in to your dog's demands, such as barking or whining for attention. Ignore these behaviors and only reward calm and desired behaviors. This can be difficult because very often the barking or whining seems to be going on forever, but have patience, it will end. Training takes time and patience. Be consistent and patient with your dog, and you'll see positive results over time. If you encounter challenges, consider seeking advice from a professional dog trainer or behaviorist. They can, pr can provide personalized guidance and support. In conclusion, the nothing in life is free concept is a powerful tool for improving your relationship with your dog. By requiring desired behaviors for rewards, setting clear boundaries, and being consistent, you can create a more harmonious and respectful environment for you and your dog. We encourage you to apply this concept to your dog training and see if the positive changes it can bring. If you have any questions or need further advice, feel free to reach out to us. For more information, check out resources like The Other End of the Leash by Patricia McConnell and Nothing in Life is Free for Dogs by Henry Askew and apps like Pupford for training tips and advice. Thank you for tuning in today. We hope you found this episode helpful. I'm Dr. Tom, and this has been The Carenza Approach. Thanks again for listening. To learn more about our approach to dogs and owner relationships and the movement that is sweeping across the nation, please visit thecoerenzaapproach.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe to receive the latest updates and information. Until next time, keep those tails wagging and those paws moving.